So I'm changing the turbo on my daily. Uh, and it just so happens that I've got a TDO 5 20G, a VF 28, and a v VF 34. So I can put them side by side and compare them. Now, let's have a look. This is the old one, this is a VF 28. This is the new one, the VF34, and this is a cheap TDO 520G. Haven't heard what this one sounds like yet, VF34, but apparently this is the most modern. This is what comes on a version 5 STI. So, see if it'll focus. Uh, you'll just have to trust me, it says VF28 there. Uh, so let's have a look at the actual blades of the VF28. So they're very sort of perpendicular, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then look at the VF34, and they're actually curved. Now, the deal is that this is a more modern turbo design to the VF28. Uh, and just looking at them kind of side by side, they look relatively similar. So there's the VF34 ha front housing. There's the VF28 front housing. So for all intents and purposes, they do look very similar. But when you look at the back, VF28 exhaust, VF34. Now, so this one is a P18. It actually says 18 up inside it. And if I can measure this with my plastic digital calipers, so it's 38 at this point here, 38 wide. And then this one, yeah, so it's about the same. Let's get them more side by side. So this one appears to taper down more. I don't really know if there's that much of a difference. And then let's look at, so this is a completely different design. It's got a secondary set of fins after it. Uh, so a fairly straight blade and then a curved blade. So it's almost like it's got a straight blade like this, but then behind it, it has a curved blade like this. Uh, can we see in behind? Yep, so there's another set of curved blades recessed behind in the 34. And then what about in here? So yep, very similar, but this one curves right back inside, whereas this one doesn't quite. And then this one is a lot more prominent. Uh, this one here is a uh, journal bearing turbo. This one is ball bearing. They're supposed to be ball bearing, but you read on the internet, it says that they're a uh, roller bearing turbo. Let's just turn them around and compare the exhaust sides. Also, just for comparison, Look at how big and chunky this one is. You can see the big giant exhaust housing versus the ones on these side. All right. It's a bit hard to see actually. So that's the 34. That's the 28. And from what I can tell, so these blades look a little bit more open on this back side. Um, kind of hard to tell. And then let's look at this TDO. Yeah, so these ones look a lot more open. And I think there's more blades. 
I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's got twelve blades. Um, so there you go. If you wanted to look at the differences, that is what they look like. So I think this one here has a bigger housing. This is supposed to be P18. I'll just look up inside here. I mean, it's probably covered in soot. Yeah, so the VF34 inside here says P18. Um, there you go. VF28 versus VF34 versus the TDO 520G. Actually, so this one only spooled about 500 RPM later than this one, which is quite interesting, given that this is a ball bearing turbo and this is a journal bearing. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what this one's like. Uh, I'm just about to put it on the car. Um... They say that because of the compressor, the revised compressor aerodynamics, that this one has a lot better mid-range and also top end uh, versus this bit older VF28. You can see it's a bit tired now. It's not too bad, but um, it's definitely like it used to spin a lot more freer than that. Uh, and I had a VF23 was that was even worse. Um, so there you go. And then that's the journal bearing. So it's about similar to how this VF 28's gone. And then this, I bought this second hand, uh, shout out to you, Sebastian, but, uh, spins a lot more freely. So there we go. That's the difference.